We knew coming into this year's CONCACAF Champions Cup that it wasn't going to be easy. We're facing an MLS side right off the bat, and losing a player 43 minutes in, well, that just made it all the tougher. However, we managed to escape from New York with a nil-nil draw. We're heading home, and we are in the best position we have been in since we beat Inter Miami years ago. Can we finally make the round of 16? <laughs> And welcome back, everyone, to episode number 58 of The American Dream. I'm Mr. Cellophane. If you have enjoyed the series so far, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, please, and thank you. Nil nil is the score of our tie against New York Red Bull. We're coming back home for the second leg. The winner of this tie is going to take on Monterey in the round of 16, a spot we have not yet gotten to in this save. Hoping to make it there today, but first we've got to check out the highlights of our match in the league against San Carlos and Arroyo got things started for the opposition, putting it in top bins, 1-0 San Carlos. We would get it back though just a couple of minutes later as William Ramirez playing it ahead. Great first touch by Zacharia, puts it across his body and drags it inside that far post to tie things up at one. Valverde got the start in the midfield, handed off to Hugo Cordero who will be suspended for this match and a comedy of errors led to an own goal, which made it 2-1 Saprisa. Then Valverde involved again, playing it ahead. Willem gets taking the dribble, taking the turn, and just throwing it on net, seeing what happens. And just as it often does when you're on a good roll, pays off. 3-1 your final score. We managed 27 shots on goal, 11 of them on target, which means the best player on the opposition was once again their goalkeeper. 7.0 for Brian Segura. Three goals, though, gets scoring in the 95th minute to put the nail in the coffin. We remain undefeated in the closing stage. In fact, we haven't lost since the first leg of the grand final against Liberia. Conte once again in goal. A back four of Bakar. Innocenti, Barantes, and Duarte as our right wing. Again, Hugo Cordero unavailable for this match by virtue of that red card. Aquiston Valverde in the midfield. Valverde played so very well in that last match. Tushin gets on the wings. Lopez will be leading the line as our striker. Behind him in support is once again Diego Moreira. In fact, now that I really stop and think about it, the only two draws that we have given up since that match on this unbeaten streak have been games where we have lost the player to a red card. It was Vitan Tusha against Sporting, and it was Hugo Cordero in the first leg of this tie against Red Bull New York. If we can keep all 11 men on the pitch, we have a fantastic record at home, and we are hoping to continue that today, but New York firing the first shot, getting the first shot of the match. Marrera in for Tusha off of the throw-in. Mujica is going to pick that off, lay it up for Leon Flock. Flock trying to push it ahead, still with it across Mujica into the middle, and Carabayo is going to continue the trend of New York attackers who cannot seem to find the target. That all being said, 25 minutes in, we finally get our first shot on goal, and, well, we didn't hit the target either. We are doing a fantastic job in holding on to possession, however, but again, just that single, solitary shot on goal. So not a shot for either team in the final 20 minutes of that match. And through 45, we're tied nil Nil. Solid, if uninspiring, performances as Leon Flock will be subbed off for Ojeda to start off this second half for Red Bull New York. Again, just a one shot on goal, a measly .06 XG, but a free kick opportunity gets, clatters it off of the crossbar. It's going to go out for a goal kick for New York Red Bull. Best opportunity of the match for Saprisa. Once again, in control in the Red Bull end, Duarte will carry it up the right side. They're giving him some space. Still with it, Duarte crossing it over, looking for Tusha. It'll be handled. Tusha, though, will track the ball down just outside of the box. He'll play it in. Steven Akista ahead. Bakar, he's got Edward Lopez in for his 18th goal of the year if it is upheld by VAR. He may have been offside. They're checking it, and they have determined that he did go early, and the score remains nil-nil. It was very, 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 very close. I kind of disagree with it, but 
you know, you get fined for that kind of thing. So still not a single shot on target for Saprisa in this match. We are closing into 20 minutes remaining in regular time. Valverde's a little tired, so Alejandro Braun is going to come in. Willem Getz will cede his position to Jose Diego Sequeria. Hopefully he can work some of his magic on this match in the final 15 minutes. From the free kick, Marrera is going to send it in the middle. Innocente heading it on, hits it off of the woodwork. Second time we've clattered it off of the frame of the goal in this match. And we still sit here without a single shot on target with just five minutes left to go in regular time. I thought that this match was going to be a bit easier than it has turned out to be. Conte turning one away in added time. Prithia sending it in and not able to connect on the header. So we remain tied nil nil. Three minutes, by the way, of stoppage time have been added on. We've played about a minute and a half of that. Duarte in control along the near sideline. Zecharia into the middle. Marrera, a bit of a heavy touch, but he's able to get, get it back. Played in the middle. Akista. Sekaria into the box. Sekaria across. Tusha with the goal. His 18th of the year. That one is going to count. He was on side. It's a pre on New York nil. Talk about leaving things to the very last second. But the sub, Sekaria, feeding it across. Tusha able to beat the goalkeeper. He had more than half of a goal to shoot at. Tusha, though, is going to steal it back. Playing it forward. He's got three men on him, so he'll just reverse field, hold things up for a while. Back for Akista. Marrera turns across. Sekaria dropped for Brand. Brand with a drive, and the keeper able to get his hand on it. It will go out for a Saprisa corner. Can we see out the remainder of this second half? We've already played a full three minutes of stoppage time. Obviously, they're adding more on because we scored the goal. Brand with the corner will be handled by Manu Golita. And for the first time in this save, Saprisa is moving on to the round of 16 in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. 1-0 your score. We managed to hold New York to a draw down to 10 men for over 45 minutes. We came home, did the same for the first 90. Two minutes in the stoppage time, though. Viet and Tusha scoring an easy goal. And we move. Monterey, though, is going to be a bit of a different beast, my friends. They've got a lot of value and a lot of talent on this team. A lot of young talent from Mexico and beyond. So if this ain't good, Hugo Cordero going to miss the next five to six weeks. He'll be unavailable for Monterey. Back to league action, trying to keep our winning streak alive, or at least our unbeaten streak, that is. Razak, though, had other ideas. 1-0 early on. On the road at Santos, we would finally, though, come alive in the 79th minute. Ball fed forward by Castro. Ramirez putting it home to tie things up at one. And in the second minute of second half stoppage time, Espinosa floating it in. Cordero on the end of it. 2-1 the final score. We did only manage three shots on target. But two of them counted. And that, my friends, is all the difference. It seemed, though, our early match frustration was going to continue on the road at Herediano. Poor clearance finds its way to Jason Cordoba, who put Herediano up 1-0 10 minutes in. We wouldn't find the back of the net until stoppage time. And once again, it was Cordero right in front, blasting at home. Tied the match up at 1, kept our unbeaten streak alive. Only one shot on target for Herediano, and that was Cordero. So we did a very good job defensively. Our offense, though, needs to step up. And that they did in the early going off of the set piece, picking out Randy Duarte on the back post to give us the early 1-0 lead in the rain. But A.D. Sarchi would come on back. Hernandez with a perfectly placed shot. Not much Conte could really do about that in the end. Sadly, Carlos Barantes missed the penalty in the 77th minute, which would have put us ahead and given us all three points. We are going to have to settle for the draw. But we remain unbeaten in the league as we get ready to hit the road for Mexico and take on Monterey in the round of 16. Even though we've had a couple of hiccups in the league, we are still going strong and looking to put out quite the side against Monterey for the away leg in the round of 16 of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Once again, Conte getting the start in goal. Bacar will be 
on the left side of the defense. Randy Duarte will be on the right, which means Jorge Valverde is going to start this one on the bench. Innocente and Barantes will be paired in the middle. Aquista and Castro in the midfield. Marrera will once again man the 10. And on the attack, it'll be Vitan Tusha, Edward Lopez, and Juan Diego Sequeria. Regardless of what happens in this tie, this is the furthest we have gotten in the competition. So we are making positive strides in our goal or toward our goal of winning the CONCACAF Champions Cup. If we get past Monterey and make it through to the quarterfinals, well, that's going to be even better. If we win the whole damn thing, well, then I'll have to figure out what to do with the last couple of months of the FM cycle here on YouTube. That is a problem for the future. Today's challenge is holding serve against Monterey on the road. Ball fed through. Nice defensive play by Innocente, but it'll be picked up by Hernandez. Throwing it back post. Duarte deals with it and clears it. Secaria looking to start the counterattack. Lopez back out wide for Secaria. Bodies getting back for Monterey, so we'll hold things up and play it back to Andre Castro. Duarte. Flipping it up the line. Sekaria chasing it. He's got it. Plays it into the middle. Finds Tusha who chips the keeper underneath the crossbar for his 19th of the year to put Saprisa up 1-0. Whoa, Nelly. Who knew we were going to score on our first shot on target? Off of the corner. Played out. Tracked down by Tusha. He's got it back from Herrera. The corner taker moving it to his left foot. His shot will be blocked. And Sordo able to clear it away. Barentes will settle it down. Play does continue, however. Sekaria feeding it forward. Picked up by Guzman. Atum. Up to Lopez on the left wing. Counterattack on from Monterey. Switch of play over to Kuo. Kuo. Up the side. Into the middle. Finds Juventino Soto for his ninth of the year. And Monterey, just like that, equalizes it one. Trying to control it off of the throw-in. Tusha. We'll feed it to Lopez in space in the middle. Up ahead behind the defense. He's got Sicaria. Sicaria is in. Takes the shot with his right foot. Tucks it past the keeper for his 19th of the year. And we are back in front. Apologies if you can hear the lawnmowers in the background. It is prime landscaping season here in the United States. Monterey once again in control. Trailing in this one. 2-1. Just a couple of minutes remaining in this first half. Guzman playing ahead. Alvarez spins. Fires it up to Kuol, up the right side. Kuol picking up the assist on the first Monterey goal. Good defensive pressure by Tusha, but Kuol gets it back. He's in, and Conte comes up huge. Interesting corner formation for Monterey. Aceves will lay it short. Lopez back for Aceves, moving it into the box, sending it into the middle. Zecharia, what a defensive play, and Duarte will clear. 6-4, your shots on goal after 45 minutes, and most importantly, on the road in Mexico, Saprisa with a 2-1 lead. 45 minutes to see this one out. If we do give up another goal, not the worst thing in the world. We ended up drawing the away leg against New York Red Bull, and we came out on top at home. We're looking to do the same here. Into the middle, Guzman is going to pick that off. A bit of an errant pass. Lopez moving it forward, still charging ahead. His shot, though, will sail into the crowd. Just over 65 minutes played. We've got some tired legs out there. Vitan Tush is going to come out in place of Willem Getz. Steven Aquista will make way for Jorge Valverde, which means we're going to put Andre Castro more on the attack. Now, Castro is a little tired, but we're going to leave him out there for another couple of minutes. Looks like Alejandro Braun will make an appearance a little bit later as we make two changes heading into the latter stage of this second half. 8-7 in favor of Monterey. Your shots on goal. They are leading in possession at home. However, they are not winning the match. That goes to Saprisa. Jimenez to throw it in. Figueroa controlling along the far sideline. Tries to push it past his man. And he will be successful. Although Lopez is kind of sticking with him. Figueroa gets it back. Plays it into the middle. Duarte clears it. Aceves looking to send it back in. Valverde handles it. In the middle third, Jimenez in control across Aceves ahead for Perez. He's got a man on him, so he's being closely guarded. Perez carrying it up that left wing, sending it in, looking for Soto, and he will not get it back. Car sending it clear. Jimenez looking to push it forward once again, plays it to his left. Barba 
Into the middle, Aceves intercepted by Barentes, cleared only as far as Palacio. Pressure for Monterey. Stolen away, though, by Willem Getz. He's got two men in front of him. Getz still with the ball. Men were offside, so Getz will try to trip the keeper, and he will be unsuccessful. And now we will make those secondary changes. Alejandro Braun coming in. Uh, Bakar feeling a little tired, so Luis Mora is going to take his place. And, well, we've already got Valverde in the match, so he's going to slot in as our right back, and we will bring in Jesus Ceballos, who has come to us complaining about not really playing a lot. We were just like, I uh, don't know what to tell you, dude. And he's like, ah, fine, that works for me. Aceves on the corner. Jimenez, too strong over the bar. The best thing we could see at this point would be two, three, okay, four minutes is fine of added time. Monterey taking over deep in their own end. Barba Flores, he's got plenty of space in the midfield. Lomeli switches it over to near side. It's Perez. Flores back for Perez. We are giving them a little bit of space to operate. Perez, though, will launch it from just outside the box, and it will not find the target. That could be, hopefully, the final opportunity of the match for Monterey, and it will be. And Saprisa on the road in Mexico hangs on to a 2-1 victory. Vitantusha putting us ahead 1-0. Juventino Soto tied it up really quickly in the 16th minute. But Juan Diego Secaria, what a pickup he has been. His fifth goal for Saprisa turned out to be the game winner. No scoring in the second half. We didn't need it. And we head home with a 2-1 aggregate lead. So the question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to hold serve at home and get through to the third round of competition in the CONCACAF Champions Cup? We're going to have to do it without Randy Duarte. Yellow card in that match has him suspended. So without him and without Hugo Cordero on the right side, it looks like Valverde is going to need to shine. Will we be able to move on? We're going to have to find out when we come back tomorrow. If you like that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you just haven't done so already, and come on back to see if we move on once again and we can take care of Monterey at home. It's all happening tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you then. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.